going on guys chase daniel here chase daniel show brought to you by launch hydrate today brock purdy everyone knows out there that i'm a huge brock purdy fan and it's because of how he plays on the football field 333 yards three touchdowns 158 Point three in the same breath as Montana for the last quarterback to ever do that for the San Francisco 49ers. Look, he should be at the top of every MVP poll because I'm telling you right now, without him, the San Francisco 49ers are not seven and three. Let's break it all down right here, right now. All right, let's do it. Brock Purdy, 158.3 rating. Look at this throw. The dude played unreal against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense that is honestly very aggressive, and he made them pay 333 yards, three touchdowns, and once again, this dude, in my opinion, proves that he should be in the MVP conversation, no doubt about it. Pretty simple route concept right here. All it is is four verticals, okay? But they did a little spin to it. They have a little out and back ends, out and back ends, so he's just reading one, to one off this safety. If it's too high, which it is, he's gonna work the boundary. And I like the boundary side because it it allows Kittle to get behind this linebacker right here, okay? And actually this linebacker is gonna end up blitzing and this is what they did. They brought a lot of uh, pressure, but it was simulated pressure. So they ended up dropping either this D end or this D end and they played a lot of this palms coverage. We talk about it a lot here on this channel, this palms four deep coverage. So he fought aggression with aggression right here. Okay, so this drop in DN, he's supposed to wall number two. This Mike linebacker, he's going to wall number two, but because he's coming from so far away and this safety is so deep, Kittle takes the easy, th or uh, Purdy takes the easy throw right there. And he makes this look easy, but when he lets this go, he's got to get over top this linebacker and before this safety, and he hits it. Just perfect. I mean, the throw, the timing, everything about it is excellent. Puts it in a spot where only Kittle can get it between four defenders right there in the middle of that box. That throw is a lot more difficult than what Purdy thinks or what people seem it is, okay? And he lets the ball go now, right when, okay, great base, first of all, but right when um, Kittle gets out of his break. So it doesn't allow for this safety right here, which is facing outside, to get uh, his his feet back this way. And this is what I love too. Debo is coming underneath. 15's coming underneath. Ayuk had another big game, so he took his pick. I like the fact that he worked the boundary though. It's a shorter and sweeter throw. And this is like poetry in motion. Really, really good play. They had a lot of these huge plays. Kittle's excited. This is play two of the game. Get him going early. It pays dividends. Look at that throw. Right over, perfect spiral. We'll see it right here. Okay, so we said Kittle's just going to go up, run a little bender route. Okay, they're pressuring this guy. He's coming right there through the A-gap. This backer is going to go and replace this, this guy, and then this D-end is dropping. Okay, so a lot of times you saw him pressuring the back right here. They're, they're mixing it up going here, but I want you to watch Purdy's feet. He never gets too crazy in the pocket. One, two, three, hitch, ball, really good base, perfect spiral, perfect catch. And this is what I love about Purdy, okay? The left foot, foot, left foot up, okay? I don't really, um, I didn't really like it before I thought and saw Purdy do it, but I really enjoy it. The base is perfect when he's throwing. Okay, his shoulders are square, right to the target. Already starting to cock and throw this football, and he knows that Kittle's going to go right there. That's a complete trust throw. This is not an easy throw, and he made it look really, really easy, and obviously a great catch by Kittle there as well. All right, next play, slot formation. We're getting to empty, okay? Love this formation. It's slot empty with CMC up top. Once again, okay? Ayuk is crushing people on his routes. He tries to work Debo right here, okay? This is uh, this is one of the bad, one of the worst reads he's had. Not, It's not even that bad, but he should actually end up going right there. So they're running levels on this side. They're running... All go, two vertical on this side, and then CMC's coming underneath. Okay, I like the fact that he worked this side right here. I'm good with this. It's just levels, just five yard in. Okay, Ayuk has a 15 to 10 yard in, and you're just reading one to two. Well, when it's five man pressure, okay, and listen, Brock knows this. I'm just teaching everyone else. 
when it's five man pressure, you want to work the inside of the field because these guys should have inside leverage or head up leverage. So they have both ways to go. Okay. I want to see this right here. There's five man pressure. Okay. Right there. As soon as you see on this underneath route that you got hands on. Okay. Debo's not allowed to cross face. Look at Ayuk right there. Okay. He had a heck of a game. Get this DB turned around. I like the fact that he worked this side. I thought he just picked the wrong guy. If he would have had it over to do it over again, I mean, Ayuk is turning around 31 right here. Look at this. Watch this route right here because this was the story of it. Okay. Misread right here by Brock. All good. But boom. Look at that. And this is where. You want to work the middle of the field, any in-breaking routes versus 11 dog. What's 11 dog? It's five-man pressure, just like we said, okay? So 11 dog, they're bringing five. I like the fact that they're getting them in empty, and they know they're rushing five, okay? That's the plan this game a lot, and more often than not, these receivers, these receivers won. All right, here you go. So you got them in base defense because they're in 21 personnel. That's a tight end, juice. CMC moving empty, okay? Once you move to empty, let's see it. They're going to go out, still have a five-man pressure, okay? This is what you want. This is exactly what he wants. So he just takes the number one when, in fact, he should take the number two because there's a lot of space right here. Look, it wasn't a perfect game, but passer rating it was. So there's still a couple misses here and there. I want to show it all on this channel. Ends up just making the wrong read right there. Next play, pretty cool. Look and look. I mean, this is crazy. I, first of all, I've never seen this type of route concept because it's like he's working. They're doing obviously slot formation. They're getting to it in a in a cool way by short motioning there, and you have a play fake there. But Ayuk wants a deep corner route, okay? And you're going to have CMC be the flat route runner. And then this Debo guy, who's pretty good in its own right, is running like a basic, almost like a wrap route. Okay, so I've never really seen to where you work inside first. I've always been taught that you work outside, and this route is only an alert for something. Well, he saw something right away because he saw the five-man pressure. And when you have Debo on this linebacker, who's covering him, even though it's like a triangle coverage, okay, because they're pressuring, it's five-man pressure, and you're going to have Kittle right there to sit. I'm just really worried about this backside safety. Obviously, Purdy's not because he throws on time and in the room. He's looking right at it. It's a three-plant throw, and then the run after catch, that's what makes Debo so dangerous. Let's see from this point of view. So you're going to have a little short motion. You're going to seal the edge off, okay? He's going to go right there. You're going to have this little wrap dig route right there with CMC in the flat. The only one I'm worried about right here is this safety, okay? But if you see, he's peaking him at the very beginning of the snap. Even when he's faking the ball, he's making sure that 31 stays back there. You see it right there? Okay, he has him. Okay, there's a lot of open grass right there. I like it, especially with inside leverage on a linebacker. But he holds the safety just enough. And look at Kittle. Kittle right there is saying, I don't want to get underneath it. Okay, we're good. And then another run and catch for Debo, which that's what he is known for. They've been a different offense when he's been in the game. All right. Two by two, motion to three by one bunch. All this motion, all this stuff really gets on defensive eyes. And that's the biggest thing is like you're you're trying to make the defense look at other things than just the formation. Once again, five-man pressure. They roasted five-man pressure right here. It's an amazing route by Ayuk, especially versus especially versus press. So it's just a little wrap route, okay? You're going to have Juice right there. I think this is CMC who's running a corner stop, which is crazy. Juice is going to do the little whip route, and it's just amazing, amazing timing, amazing trust to Brandon Ayuk right here. And once again, it helps right here really a lot when you can get a five-man rush. When you get a five-man rush, it makes all the difference in the world. The timing on this route, though, before the linebacker gets in it, who is actually covering Kittle, Kittle's doing a heck of a job all, all game long blocking, but he's actually covering Kittle. He frees up. But with this timing, it's really hard to stop. And they're just running a little option route over here, which I like. So this is number one, and this is number two. CMC on the bite route, corner stop is three. So he just takes his number one. Even when it's pressed, I'd be like, oh, I don't know if he's going to win, but I roasting out, out there roasting guys. It's really impressive. 
So obviously when Debo is in the backfield, you get a lot of uh, eyes on him. Okay. And then I like Debo on this linebacker, but the linebacker actually did a pretty good job covering him. So he just takes a press man, says one, two, three, ball's gone. And just the tight spiral too, which makes it so much easier. And it's right on his head. It's right on his head. That's that's something that I noticed this game was his accuracy was way above average. Really, really good. Allowed his guys to catch and run after the completion. All right. Motion into a bunch formation. Once again, five-man rush or proving that they can rush five, which is always a good thing. And this is such a sweet play call. This walks in, and I want to show you this. So what they're doing right here, just motion and juice. They get the man zone read. It's a linebacker. So they know it's man, so they keep up the play. I guarantee you they had a different play call here. All right, and watch this. CMC is going to short motion out. And what have they done from this? Well, they've always ran these option routes or these angle routes. Here, what um, they decided to do was motion out, and they have this, like, pick play. So all these guys are going this way, and their only job is to pick this linebacker right here. So CMC is going to act like he's going out, run an option route, and then, nope, come back across. This is like a perfect play versus man coverage. It's a perfect play call, perfect execution, and just the design of this by Shanahan is really, really cool. And the only thing that you worry about a five-man rush, I mean, you're licking your chops back there as quarterback, five-man rush, is CMC, you got to find a little space because all the gaps are taken. Okay, so you can go on this A-gap, you can go on this A-gap, this B gap, this is perfect where he sneaks through this right A gap and good luck because of this short motion. Look how much uh, CMC is already ahead of him. Just a perfect play call, perfect execution and a walk-in touchdown. Really good. Let's see it from this view. So first of all, CMC one-on-one with 45, five-man rush. I didn't agree with the Bron with the Bucks game plan because whew, you're leaving everyone one-on-one -on -one and these guys will toast you. So you're going to see this little short motion, and you're going to watch 45 jump out and then CMC cut through there in the middle. So cool. Okay, you know it's man. Oh, my gosh. And look at this. Like, flat-footed, already going, good luck. Okay, juice and kittle, you just want to run interference. That's how it's told. You don't want to pick because it could get called. Just run interference on this linebacker. Okay, watch juice right there. Perfect, perfect. Okay, both those guys, juice and kittle. Okay, I want you to watch these two. This is amazing job. Okay, this is what makes the play work. Watch Juice right there. Right, boom, and then kill right behind him. Boom. Okay, makes him go underneath. Easy touchdown. Easy money. Love that. All right, another play. Slot formation, motion into bunch. Let's see what we got here. So two motions in one, shift, motion. This is this little Gronk route that they know, and this throw to me might have been like one of the sickest throws I've seen. He has to feather it over. Okay, so they're motioning over. He has a five or a 10 to 12 yard in route. And this Gronk route is like a short cross. So it's eight to 10 yards. Okay, you want to clear it out. So it's a heavy play action. You're pulling the guard, get across. You're supposed to set and throw this. And this is the number one read. Well, it gets taken away. And very rarely have I seen guys get all the way back to number two because this is such a quick hitting play and usually there's some leakage and protection. I thought the offensive line played really well, but watch Brock here. Okay. They're actually running and snapping it on the move to gain a little bit of leverage, but watch Brock. Okay. Get there. No PCs, the safety right there, taking away Kittle. Okay. So watch his feet. It's going to go right back to two and he's already starting to throw because he's already starting to trust. If he throws this any later, all three of these guys can get back underneath this dig route. Actually works perfect to his advantage. I'm going to show this throw from the back end, which is really cool. Okay, you're motioning over to a one by 3 slot. You're going to motion Ayuk and snap it on the run. So this is this Gronk route. This is what Rob Gronkowski made so popular, and you're going to have a dagger, dagger route, in route behind it, whatever you want to call it. It's one to two right there. Okay, and really good play action sell right here. Got to get this edge. Okay, really cool. And then watch this. Oh my gosh. Like this, these throws are very difficult and he's making them look so easy. Just so calm in the pocket. And that's another thing too. Like give these, give these guys some flowers because they played really well, especially big 71 right there. Love this. Such a great throw. All right. A couple more plays here. It's only 10 to seven right now. 
they sort of ran away with this at the end. Once again, another motion to a slot formation. What we got here? Oh my gosh, this is wild. So you're gonna have a little out and up by CMC. Okay, so you're gonna go out and up. You're gonna have a deep cross by Debo, and you're gonna have another one of these in routes. Okay, this is an alert. Okay, if they get man to man, which they are, but you're really reading it one to two to three. So he gets through this. He's reading Debo first, not there. And I want you to watch this receiver, Brandon Ayuk, right there, because when he throws this ball, he's the ball is being thrown. You have inside leverage by a defender. You have to cross face. You're worried about this guy. You have somebody at your feet. This throw was all trust and was an absolute dime. Anywhere else, this ball is tipped and picked. You got guys all around your feet. Okay, I almost wonder if Kittle ran the wrong route. You never want to bring stuff back in when you're going this way, this way, and that way. So I wonder if he ran the wrong route because he sort of slows down. And he's like, oh, no. But amazing throw. And this is where they have so many guys that can hurt you as a run after the catch. First down. Love that. Once again, the pocket presence right there is excellent. Okay, you got CMC. You see this little chow look. He's all the way over this right tackle. You know he's going to free release. This is this is something that they always do. Okay, so you're reading Debo. Okay, and then he doesn't like it. So he ends up throwing this little dagger route behind him with a guy right in his face. And the timing on this throw, because the defender had leverage on this in-breaking route, was excellent. This run after catch is what makes Ayuk, Debo, Kittle, all these guys special. Next play right here. Two by two. Oh, yeah. I've, I've peaked this. Right here, baby. That's the matchup. Gotta love it. Really cool. Just a go ball. Just an inside fade. Perfectly thrown. See you later. And it's really cool how they get to this right here. It's just a, a go ball. Some type of hitch. Some type of hitch. Go ball. Okay, inside fades, whatever you want to call it, and this little juke route. Okay, five-man rush. When you have press on an inside fade, you better take that 99 times out of 100 because it is such a good route versus press man. DB's in bad position. Okay, he picks this side because, one, he likes Ayuk, but he picks this side also because this safety is a lot closer over here. And Debo's not quite winning like Ayuk, so he picks the right side. Correct side, throws it, perfect spiral, perfect throw. 49ers are going crazy. Big time touchdown for the Niners. Okay, and the Russian five again. Don't understand why they did it. Okay, that's a different different video maybe. All right, so you're getting CMC. It's one-on-one. -on -one. It's called the juke route. Okay, you can go in or you can go out. He alerts it because he knows it's man-to-man, -man, and these safeties' feet are going to go this way. So Purdy says, I'm just going to take my big-time matchup to Brandon Ayuk. See it right here. Looks the safety off, knows exactly where he's going to go, and a perfect ball. Let's see it from this view. Let's watch this drop. Okay, vision that way. Knows the safety's there, and look at this. Just dropping a dime. Presence down the chimney, as we like to call it. Santa's coming to town, baby. Let's go. Okay, we got two more, second and 14 right here. Once again, another short motion. Really like how they did it. Using his feet here, wide open. Like, not only can he become a pocket passer, but he can also move in the pocket to make things work. And all it is right here, let's rewind it. All right, pretty cool. I love this condensed split formation. You're going to have a big post versus quarters. It's an alert, which it doesn't look like they're doing here because this guy's here. You're going to have a through route, and you're going to have a deep cross and it's interesting to me that you never really want this through route underneath the deep cross so I think Debo goes a little bit deeper that's why he's having to buy a little bit of time he sees this b-gap step up okay this hook curl defender decides to go down here on Kittle when he's scrambling so this deeper developing route I mean this is not good defense when you don't have anyone 20 yards 
within Debo Samuel. Another big time run and catch. Really cool. But just want to show this because I really liked his pocket presence right here. All right. One, two, three, four, five. And it's, and it's not like a little, it's not just like a pure drop back. It's a little bit of a roll, almost like the old Hawaii offenses of the past. Steps up. Okay. Keeps his eyes downfield. Just looks so calm and cool and collected. The ease at which he makes these plays is what's special. That's really cool right there. And then good luck. You're, if you're the first guy, there's no way you're tackling Debo Samuel. Last play on the cut up, 20 to 7. This is a classic San Francisco 49ers red zone beater versus cover three. And good luck. Let's just teach it real quick. All right. You got a corner route. You got a little bitty out route. And you got an angle route. Okay. So this little out route, it's going to hold down the corner. This angle route is being taught. This is the flat defender. Okay. So you want to run at the flat defender and then make a move inside. So this flat defender right here cannot be right. And then this hook curl has to cover the corner route. And good luck because this works to perfection. So we're going to start with the corner plan. Okay, the corner takes this out route. So he's held down. This flat defender says, oh, I got CMC coming to me. I got to go. Nope, got to go. And then also the eyes right here, you have CMC. So this is a perfect cover three beater right here. It's wide open. Kittle ends up doing the dab right here, which is hilarious. He said the dab's not dead, which I believe him. But just puts a lot of stress on this backer right here because you're going to go flat, nope, angle, and then a corner out. And another amazing throw, 333 yards, three touchdowns, 158.3 rating for Brock Purdy. Brock is on fire.